All right, guys, so I was vlogging in 360 and then my camera ran out of juice and I really didn't feel like charging it. I didn't really have no way of charging it while I was out, so I just kind of stopped. So I'm kind of run through everything that I've been through on my little, my little day. So right now, I'm going to get our clothes. I did a ton of laundry. Like, you can't see, but I have two laundry things full of laundry. Actually, I didn't really think this through because I had a trash bag, and now I don't have a trash bag no more. So I don't know where these all these clothes going to go. I don't know, y'all. Vlogmas has just been so difficult. I'm not going to lie. I know y'all can't really see me. I'm about to get my light so you can. But Vlogmas has been so difficult. I've been putting... The main reason is was I have an 8 to 4 job. Then on Wednesdays and Fridays, not only do I have an 8 to 4 job, but I have a 5 to 10 job, 5 to 9 job. It really just depends. Damn, can y'all give me some time to come up to the goddamn, damn, why is that light so, so short? And then I've been staying at work like the Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays where usually I can go home and like kind of decompress, hang out with baby, play video games, just do whatever the fuck I want get some errands done well no that's not happening because i have this deadline at work which is monday and today is monday so i have a week to complete this deadline and i have literally three things that need to be done at work so i've been putting in hella overtime like they kick you out at seven o'clock so i've been working eight to seven or eight thirty to seven because i get there a little bit early when i know i'm gonna work the extra three hours i'll be like we're gonna take this half an hour we finna sleep a little bit more because we're gonna be working an extra two and a half hours today so that's what we can do <sighs> my thing is you know i'm talking so i can throw this video up i had a shit ton of laundry my day in a minute let's go i had a shit ton of laundry to do got this done then i went to Myers so i can get money to dry the clothes with then i had to pick up more wine because i drank the last wine and the baby was like you don't get more wine if you drink this and i was like fine because i really want some more wine so then i checked out realized i forgot my freaking toothpaste because i have like literally like three more brushings left so i was like all right let's go back and get it so i went back and got it came out put the clothes in the dryer paid for them dipped out went to go get some checker fries for baby baby called me like uh you at buyers you okay i was like shit because i was supposed to call her while i got to myers because you want me to pick up something i was like oh i'm sorry baby i can go back and then she heard the lady in the background she's like baby you have to give me checkers so, I didn't even know I didn't have to get you checkers. I thought she told me you wanted checkers, but I just looked at my phone real quick because today has been freaking hectic. I've been texting my friends, seeing if she's doing me shoot her wedding. She do, so we like texting back and forth, getting details while I'm trying to work and get everything done at work. So then I brought the checkers fries back and then she was like, well, baby, what are we gonna eat? You can just pick something up when we get when you leave. Because I had to leave to get the clothes out to dry in, which I'm doing right now. And she was like, I know, it's, it's been past a minute, y'all, but I'm going really fast and I'm almost done. And she was like, okay, we can get Logan's and then Logan's only had their little deal for three to six. Damn, what time is it? See, I can't even see the time, y'all. Oh, it's 8.50. I gotta hurry up. She probably like, uh, it's nine minutes until we close and you still gotta get your clothes and you'll be vlogging. But, so Logan's had their deal and then they fucking, excuse my French, they had their deal. It was only three to six, so we went on to the next thing, Applebee's. And then we wasn't feeling two for 20, so that we spent like 10 minutes looking at the two for 20 menus. We, we don't want that shit. So then we was like, what are we going to do? She's like, babe, babe was like, I don't want nothing else. Like, I don't want to look. Because we spent all that time looking through Applebee's menu not to get it. So she was like, well, what if we just don't get two for 20? And then we ended up finding stuff we liked that was not two for 20. And now we just getting a shit ton of appetizers and we going to eat on the bed. And I'm really excited. So hopefully y'all had a good day. I had a lot of shit going on, but I got a lot of shit done, which makes me happy. I'm about to chill with my baby at this vlog real quick. Drink so wanna have a good time. Okay y'all, so I'm driving and I just realized that I'm driving past a Christmas tree place. I was at a stoplight, so that's why I had y'all in the front, but now I had to push it to the side a little bit. I just drove by the Christmas tree place because it's in like a parking lot near our uh, apartment. And I was realizing that next Friday, I'm taking off of work because I'm gonna shoot my friend's wedding, which I'm super excited about to see her. Like it's a high school friend who I don't talk to a lot. But like it's still nice to see her come up and be happy and like find her man you know what i'm saying it's just it's just so cute so i'm glad she trusts me to be there to like videotape her i'm just really excited about the whole thing and seeing a whole bunch of people from high school that should be cool so anyway friday we not this friday but next friday is when i'm gonna leave and go do that and then i'm gonna spend a night in this hotel that's a whole bunch of money because <laughs> it's downtown and it's christmas it's like two, three days until Christmas, so I'm going to spend the night in the hotel. Then we're going to wake up. Then we're going to drive to Memphis on Saturday all day, get there Saturday evening, and then hang out with her family, I think, until Wednesday. And, uh, <laughs> fun fact, 
<laughs> I thought I had three days of PTO because it said 3.0 on my little like employee webpage thing and I actually only have three hours so uh so yeah I'm dealing with that <laughs> and uh so yeah so I'm hoping I could work from Memphis remotely and if I can't it's like whatever I promised baby that we would go so no matter what we going but just like a God damn it, I know I read that sheet and it said in six months that you acquire blank amount of PTO and it was not no three hours. I know it was not no three hours because I would have been like, well, that's just some bullshit. Like, why are you even, why are you even telling me I get three hours? Like, you might as well surprise me with three hours. That's not even half a fucking day. That's not even half a day at work. So, yeah, so no matter what, I'm trying not to tell baby because I don't want her to stress out. But part of me is like, if you keep something like that from your significant other, like, are you lying? That's the question of the day. If you keep something like that for your significant other that you know is going to stress him or her out and you're going to handle it no matter what and you haven't cheated, you know, you haven't gambled all your money away. It's something like pretty insignificant, but it's significant enough that you know they'll probably want to know. Is that lying? Like, do you consider that lying because you withhold this information that you know you can handle that is not like super, super crucial to your relationship, but you know that, that person will probably want to know? I don't know. I have. I don't know what I should do. Oh, I can park right here. Cool. I'll be forgetting they had little to go spaces. So yeah. So I'll probably tell her. I never know what to do because you know sometimes it'd be like sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut. You don't have to keep. You don't have to tell your partner everything. So this is one of those situations where I should tell her. Be like, but don't worry, babe. We got it because I know she's gonna worry. Or should I just be like, not tell her, and then like just handle the finances on my own and be like you know don't even tell her so she don't worry so she don't have to feel guilty about this christmas i don't know so y'all tell me what y'all do like you know is that is that considered lying me withholding that truth from her is that lying to her and is that bad because i'm really looking out for her and obviously if you cheat like that's something different you know what i'm saying if it's something big then okay but this is not really like big it's just like a little bit big so i'm just wondering if y'all consider that lying um, oh shoot, why are you coming out to my car? Hi. Hi. Uh, no, this is Crystal. I'll be right back. It's the two samplers. Okay. I didn't even know they came out to your car. Like, this lady started coming out, and I thought she was going to be like, hey, we're about to close, so get your food or something like that. But she was just like, Mackenzie? And I was like, no. She was like, oh, okay, I'll be right back. I was like, well, my name's Sharon Mackenzie. But, uh, so yeah, I'm all over the place. So yeah, I'm picking up the Applebee's now and I guess they come out to your car, which is something I didn't know, but it's amazing. And I want to say sorry for always like giving y'all this weird in the car vlog, but it's literally the only time I have the vlog. Y'all y'all don't understand how busy I am, especially now with working overtime. This shit is killing me. Vlogmas, overtime, work, and then my other job, like, and relaxing with bait and playing video games so I stay sane. This shit is starting to kill me, y'all. And I'm doing okay, but I'm just saying, I don't have a lot of time to be like, ooh, let's get real creative with the vlogs. And let's do a Q&A, babe. And let's have this topic. And okay, let's do this for this vlog. And let's get this really cool, like, you know, pan. Let's get this cool transition. Like, I don't have time to do all that. I literally don't. I barely have time to put these vlogs up every day and hang out with my baby. I really don't. Now, if I was single, that'd be a whole nother thing. But it's like, can you have somebody you want to spend time with? Like, spending time with somebody for two hours can be a reason you don't get a whole vlog up in time, you know? What thoughts am I supposed to have since you told them? You don't know how much I told them. I just really wanted to get you in the vlog. Really, that's all I was reaching for. Well, maybe not have to be doing that when my hair looking crazy and stuff. I guess your hair do look a little crazy. Yes. Why you do? I told you stop sending me out there with L's. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Babe, you need to be honest with me. Tell me what I look like. But you want to fucking put me on YouTube. <laughs> Babe, because it's just like normal for no, me. No, I don't want that. <laughs> don't put me in. So that. you want to get made up every time we finish the vlog? No, but I don't want my hair to be all over my goddamn head. You like, look I've cute. Been Babe, you look It me. has been way worse. Trust okay, me. But I don't want this on the vlog. I'm chilling. Hey y'all, so we made it back and we got all the food and I'm chilling with baby, but she just don't want to be shown on the vlog right now. I recorded her a little bit, but she told me I couldn't use it. Why? Because her hair was all over her head, but it don't look bad. That's what I'm telling y'all, it don't look bad. For you. 
she looked really cute. No, I don't. You know when people girls be having like messy buns and stuff. This ain't no messy bun. It's a messy uh. This is some fucking electrocution. Shit. It's like a messy bob. It's not no. that bad. You got a nice haircut. It look good. But anywho, I understand where she coming from, I guess. But we always chilling. It's like it's no time when we not chilling. So it's the only time when we can vlog is when we chilling because we always chilling. We don't be made up in the house. We don't do that. No, but my hair usually be combed. Or I have on my... I don't know my cap at. Oh, yeah. She be having her bonnet on. That's what saves us most of the time. That's true. I don't know why girls be thinking bonnets be looking so good, though. You be I don't think they look good, but... He be looking a little crazy to me. He be looking crazy to me with a bonnet on. I'm sorry. That's because girls have normalized it. Which is not a bad thing. I'm just saying it's like do rags for dudes. Like if you wear one of those, it's just weird to me. Food. I'm about to eat it. I'm trying to close out the vlog. Did you vlog today? She didn't vlog today, y'all. No, my nerves was hot today. But I mean, babe, y'all. She drove in the snow twice, two times. Did you see the video I sent you? Mhm. Mm right. Did you watch it? Did it help? Yeah. I sent her a video because I forgot that she literally don't know how to drive in the snow. So if you if this is like a foreign object to you, press my brakes. Just like you don't do that in no way, in the rain or nothing. Oh, it so do I, rain a lot. I know that. But hydroplaning is different from sliding, too. I know. But at least you have been in rain. Because Memphis rain don't play. Like, I, I was like, I'm about to pull over this shit right here. I was so done. When I was driving uh, home to, not Chicago, but home to uh, Michigan, and Memphis rain was like, it kicked in for like 20 minutes. And I had all those kids in the car. I was like, like granny at the wheel. And it's going so fast you really can't see. It's ridiculous. This, it, don't make a, it don't make no damn sense. So, okay. I'm about to get off this so I can actually eat. Because I'm really hungry. I'm glad to be home and relaxing. And chilling. So, bye.